Hi, welcome to week two of February's kit, which I believe, if I'm keeping track, is also week six overall. So that's exciting. Um, I've got all of the supplies from, well, most of the supplies from this month's kit here, uh, and also some from last month just to play, and some little extra, but really I'm going to be focusing on the things that came in your kit. So of course, um, from the first month's kit, we have our journal, and I'm just going to go to the next page that's available. We're just going to do, well, actually, I don't know. We'll see. I might do double. I might, I don't, might do single. I haven't decided yet. Um, and then I do have, so the, the items from this kit are here. Okay, so we've got our awesome new stencil from Cassie's Parlor. And we have a mini spritzer bottle. We have an art crayon, um, a gelato, and a... Um, Catherine Pooler mini ink and so your colors might be different but this is what came in this kit as well as some other things but this is what I'm using today and then I've got a couple extra supplies that um, I'll be using just along with it okay and then um, okay so our prompt for today the prompt that I will be working on is the writing prompt and it's five faves choose a category and make a list of your five uh, top five favorites. So I gave you some ideas here, but really it could be anything you want. I said books, colors, movies, food, vacation, art supplies, but really anything that comes to mind that you want to make a page about um, listing your top five favorites in that category, that's perfect. Okay, so do whatever is good for you. I'm going to do color because color is one of my favorite things ever of all time. And I thought um, that might be a nice thing to play with in the journal. Okay, so I'm going to put my, my prompt card off to the side and we'll get started. So I think... So I did bring my shimmer spray. So if you got the starter kit, um, then you would have this shimmer spray in it and you'll have a different color possibly, um, but definitely you'd have that. So I'm gonna start with that, <coughs> excuse me, and my new stencil. I'm so excited. I love this stencil so much. I hope that you do too. It's really fun. It's called Sacred Circles. Let's see, there, Sacred Circles and um, yeah. You can see I've been playing and loving mine quite a bit already. All right, so I'm just shaking this up so that the shimmer spray, so that all the mica powder is off of the bottom there so it doesn't get stuck in the nozzle and so we can use it on our page. So first I'm gonna start, <coughs> excuse me, with actually spraying, I'm just gonna grab this uh, paper towel here to cover underneath. Uh, and I'm going to go here and there, and I'm going to use a few different materials um, to do the... Oh, come on. <gasps> she doesn't want to spray. That's a bummer. Okay, so the other way to do this is I'm going to use my mister. So you can clean out the nozzle, but for purposes today, I'm going to just wet pre-wet the paper. And... Then I'm going to, let's see, I did bring over um, a water brush. This is not the best way to do this, but that's okay. We're going to improvise because we're just playing in our, in our journal and it's no big deal, right? And even if it's not, per now yours, since your shimmer spray should be new, um, yours should still work. I've had mine a bit, so it happens, no big deal. And this, this is not going to be perfect right? I just want to get some color and a little bit of this pattern here, okay? So there we've got a little bit, definitely messy, but still really fun. Um, all right, and then I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. Look at how bright that color is. So I'm just getting it pre-wet just to sort of prime my, my paper. This color is fresh lime, okay? If you want to know, it's fresh lime. So I'm definitely getting a little bit of shimmer. Sorry, I'm off the screen here with that bottle, but basically I'm just, here, I'll bring it over. I'm just dipping my paint brush into it. Um, yeah, okay, I think we're good. So pretty, I love this color. Look it, I still have the pattern, it looks cool. So then a cool thing you can do with your stencil, if you haven't done this before, flip it over and, and set it down on your paper and just kind of press lightly 
and then pick it up and you get the opposite impression. Isn't that cool? So we're going to just do that with some of the leftover. I'm definitely going to cap this up or else I'm going to have a big old mess on my hands. All right. <clears throat> see what's left there just a little bit but wow look at already this <clears throat> this page is looking really really fun I love this color it's so nice and bright okay so now real quick uh, I'm just going to get this stencil wet and just kind of sop up the excess um, ink here because I'm going to use it again I'm going to use the stencil again with a different color and so that way we won't have contamination okay so I'm done with that spray I'm just gonna give this a quick dry just to make sure it's set um, now the dilution shimmer spray is water reactive so if I put water back over this this will react okay and it's really important to know that with whatever you're using <clears throat> uh, whatever substrate you're using, or I'm sorry, not uh, whatever medium you're using, like a spray or paint or whatever it is, that you understand that before you move on so that you're not disappointed with the results. Oh my gosh. The shimmer in this, let me see if I can show you. Oh look, there you can see it. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, I just love the shimmer sprays for that reason. <laughs> They're so fun. So I do see a couple spots that are a tiny bit, like have little wetness here and there so I'm just gonna dab it with my paper towel um, and it, it's it doesn't pull up very much it still looks really cool and it kind of gives you a little bit more of a stained distressy look and I really like that so okay so my top five colors if you don't know already I'm actually using to create the background and then I'll make my list on top of here as sort of the just a fun focal point and a journal entry kind of thing so this is more you know what we're doing here today is kind of more like a traditional journal in that we're going to write in it but we're also going to have some really fun patterns and textures in the background mostly patterns okay so but anyway my top five colors are lime green or chartreuse um, teal or turquoise but more toward the teal fuchsia or magenta in that family purple and then gray I really love a dark gray and I've got some Payne's gray right here so those are the colors my top five colors that I'm using um, so we started with the lime green now I'm going to use this stencil again um, and I mean this stencil pretty much looks the same all the way round and round but one thing you could do if if it was different is flip it or turn it upside down and you would get the same pattern but in a different rotation again it doesn't really work with this one because it's a it's um what is that symmetrical shape but still fun okay so now I'm going to use the teal this one actually is it's a gelato and it's called nebula okay so that's the color I'm using here. And this time I'm going to take my gelato and I'm just going to go right over the stencil. Being careful, okay, because I really, I don't want it to go under too much. And I'm just putting a little bit here and there. Well, it's more than a little bit now, isn't it? <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to take my water and I'm going to spritz a little bit and you notice like, oh, nothing really happened, right? Well, the magic kind of happens when you move it around. So use your finger, whoops, and just move that paste around. Now you can move it around without the water, but it's just a little bit easier to do with water. And since we're working on watercolor paper here, um, this technique is going to work really well for you. Okay, check that out. Woo, baby. There's a little extra on there. No biggie. Isn't that pretty? I just love those colors together. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to do that again over here. Okay, so exact same technique. Just going to rub <clears throat> a little bit of gelato in each of these holes. Okay, and then I'm going to spritz it with water. Well, let me show you what happens. See, it does work. You just got to work it a little bit more. But if you add water... Man, the gelatos really just become super creamy and move around really easily. You see how much easier that is like that. So up to you how you do it. Either way works. Um, okay, there we go. <gasps> Look. Okay, I think I want one more spot. 
I'm going to go up here and just do a couple little spots. I think that will be really cool. Okay, I'm going to hold my stencil in place, find my water. Okay, and the more water you add, the more diluted, obviously, your color is going to be. Um, and then if you're like, oh, that's pretty, but I kind of want it to be a little deeper, you can always take your gelato and go back over it, right? And give it more, more pigment and move that around and it's just gonna deepen that color just a little bit more, okay? So there we go, very cool, very messy looking. I love it. I love that watercolor messy kind of technique. So let me bring this up a little closer so you can see what I've got going on here. Isn't this stencil so awesome? Oh, I'm loving it so much. Oh, I just love it. You know, I mean, I know this this pattern, this shape kind of exists. Um, like, it's not my original per se, but the, I really like the size of it. I've never found one that's quite this size and has the shapes kind of in line the way that they are. And then I love that you have the circles, but you also have like the diamonds in the middle and the bigger diamond outside. So you can use this in a lot of different ways. I hope that you like this um, stencil and you have fun with it. I'm really enjoying it so far and I'm excited to have it in the line. All right, so I'm just gonna give this a quick wipe. Now you could do this in your journal on a different page. You know that I do that often. Um, okay, so next, let's see. Let's put this guy away. So we've used that, now I'm putting it off to the side. Okay, next I'm gonna use my art crayon, I think. Yes, and we're just gonna keep doing that. So let's go down here with the pink and kinda do the same thing we did with the gelato. And this will be a fun uh, activity if you decide to do this similarly to the way I am because you're like, what's the difference between the art crayon and the gelato? Well, I mean, you're going to see that there are a lot of similarities. But if the longer you play with them, you know, the more you're going to learn where they're, where they're similar and where they're different. Okay, you don't want to mix too much because you're going over green if you're using the same colors as me and you will get a little bit of mud because they're reactivating. But look at, ooh, that pretty pop of pink there just looks so nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do a tiny bit like right here on the inside. So let's just line this up flat. Okay, I'm gonna try not to go over where the green is because I don't, I don't want the, the brown, right? We're gonna keep this nice and bright and fun. So I'm just really loosely kind of uh, moving that around. So you can also see, you know, some of the lines still within it. I think that looks really pretty. And I'm okay with just two of that. Look at how nice that is. Okay, let's see. Can we get any of the negative impression from this? Let's just try it. And remember, this is your art journal. So this is where you try stuff. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work tiniest bit but it's pretty cool I think okay okay I love how bright and fresh this is this is really fun and exciting so I decided that I'm going to use um, a couple of background textury kind of stamps just to add some accents um, with my grape uh, crush um, Catherine Pooler ink okay so I'm gonna start with this checkerboard one and um, really when I do stuff like this when I stamp in my journal like this um, it's it's I'm not gonna do the whole thing and it's gonna be random you see and it's gonna be I need a little bit more ink I might need to reduce my pad here and it's just gonna be here and there and do you see how it's adding just a little bit more interest and texture and um, and fun right to this layout okay so I'm just gonna do it here and there maybe I'm gonna do some right in the middle here okay and it does look like my ink pad needs to be rejuiced which I have all the I have that up uh, um, separate upstairs but we will make do with what we have today so this one this stamp is from um, from uh, Seth Apter Okay, one of his smaller stamps. I love his small stamps. They're very cool for texturing. So maybe one is gonna go sideways and just have the lines like that. Kind of like doing them in the corners, maybe a little bit right there. And this is just, just adds some more, you know, visual interest and fun in your page. 
I think most of us probably have some stamps that we could do this with. All right, or you could make your own stamps too, right? Out of things around the house. You could use your new stamp foam block to make some cool textures and add that way. All right, so I've added a little bit of purple. Let me just wipe this down. All right, and now, uh, now I am ready. Okay, so now I'm ready to make my list. I think I'm happy. I love this. This is very fun and playful and just uh, a really nice, easy page, right? So now what I want to do, I'm obviously I've done double layout, so I'm going to do like number one, and this will be like my bullet, right? You know how people do that? And then I will use uh, my, my acrylic paint pen in black to write out the colors, okay? So that is what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's get my Payne's Gray and I'm just going to put some on my glass mat here and then I'm going to use a sponge okay just any kind of sponge will do and so I decided that number one is going to go over here so I'm just going to pounce this Payne's Gray and I love that it's leaving this interesting spongy texture in here and I don't care if it gets out of the lines and into like start of another circle but look at how pretty Ooh, I'm excited that's so pretty okay so number one will go there and I'll put a color name and then I think we'll do maybe one more right here and maybe I'm gonna shift it a little so that diamond in the middle is you know kind of going in a different direction Okay, and so when you're doing your list, of course, you don't have to do colors, right? Like I said in the beginning, you can do whatever you want, and you don't have to do it this way. You can just do one, two, three, four, five, and have it be the focal point in the center and build like a frame around it and just do one page. You can do whatever you want. This is just my idea that I thought of on the fly here, okay? All right, so then this page has to have three, so I'm going to start a little bit higher in the top. Okay, and I'll say when you're using acrylic paint, um, you can see my stencil is very well colored and loved already. That's because I've been using acrylic paint on it, and so I don't really, these have nice big openings, I don't really care to clean it because that acrylic paint isn't going to get um, wet again when you when you put another uh, medium over the stencil so it won't contaminate. Um, so I, I won't even bother cleaning this. I think it, it adds really fun uh, life to your stencil. But that's not, that's not the same for all things that you'll use. Like you noticed, I washed the stencil off when I used the spray or the crayons because those would, um, what's the word, re-wet themselves, right? And um, and be reactivated. That was what I was trying to think of. And uh, and then it would contaminate whatever you're doing next. But acrylic paint doesn't do that. So, okay. So then this one, let's see, I'm going to put it right here. So I want to make sure I have enough room on this side to write the word, whatever the word is. Okay. This is so fun. I love this one. Man, I just, I'm really loving the stencil. I wasn't sure for a minute how it was going to go. Um, if, if I was going to like it so much because I really do like to try to do a totally original designs but um, I think this one is different enough from any other sacred circle type you know uh, or ge um, sacred geometry stencils that I have and um, man I love it I'm just so excited that I made it okay so there are my five points okay and so the next thing I think I want to do before I um, write my words now you can see it's really busy right on both sides where I'm gonna write those words and even though I'm gonna write them in black I think I'm gonna give them a place to live that isn't so cluttered okay here we go so now I'm putting that white paint on my glass mat and then I'm just going to kind of, you know, dry brush a little bit here. Now this, everything under here is water reactive, remember, so this gesso is going to react. So I don't want to go over it too many times, I'm just going to get a big mess. Okay, so that's why I'm just doing a little bit, going to clean off my brush each time, get a new uh, application of paint here and just go over it quickly. So it's dry and I don't need everything 
underneath here to be completely gone away like it doesn't need to be a white block for me at least um, I just wanted it to be a little bit more subdued and muted so that that word stands out a little bit okay which we've done this before I think together okay, I have a little bit more paint just giving it a space to play and live on the page okay easy peasy all right nice all right you see the difference I hope you can tell the difference all right and then um, I do want a title so I'm thinking I'm gonna put a title up here so I'll make one more little space for that okay and it's super messy and doesn't matter I love it I love the mess I think it looks really cool that way. Okay, so I'm done with my gesso. That was just white gesso, but you could do a white acrylic paint or whatever you want there, okay? Okay, so now I've got <clears throat> my black paint pen. You could use Posca. This one is Pabeo acrylic marker. There's so many different brands of acrylic paint pens or acrylic markers that you could use. So whatever you have will work great. You could even use the food ball black pen that I gave you in the starter kit as well for this part. I don't know why I didn't bring that to, to um, this video. I just forgot. So, okay. So first we'll do fuchsia because that's my number one. And you could do fun letters. You could do just literally whatever you want, right? Um, nice. And there's a lot of texture on this page. So when I'm writing, it's actually like splattering some of the spots, which was totally unintentional, but I really like the way it, that worked out. Can you see? It's fun. Okay. So then we'll do teal here. This is a shorter area. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I might make these letters more fun later or block them out a little bit more. I don't know. Sometimes I go back through my journals and I'll add other things to it, uh, you know, when my mood strikes me different. Another thing you could do, I'm going to add all of these words and titles, but, you know, then I could do my doodling around the edges or um, around some pieces of this or whatever, and, um, you know, you could do whatever you want with that. Okay, next we'll do um, lime. And I'm having a little bit of trouble with my pen, and that's only because I didn't wait for it to fully, fully dry. So let me just reprime it over in the corner. No big deal, doesn't matter. That's the problem with uh, I mean, it feels dry to my hand, but if you're ever having this trouble where it's not quite writing all the way, it's because you need to just let your page dry a little bit longer. And like I said, I think I've said before, but just in case, um, generally speaking, if I'm going to do writing or journaling on my page, I will leave this page the way it is and do other things and come back an hour or two or a day or a week later and do my journaling. And sometimes I'll even go through several pages of journals and then one day... You know, I might be sitting on the couch doing whatever, and I'll grab my journal and just open it to a page and just start doodling and journaling and stuff, whatever feels right to me in the moment for that page. So often it's it's much, much later because of this, and I'm just, I'm just not very patient <laughs> to wait, like, in the moment. So anyway, okay, so we've got fuchsia, teal, lime, uh, purple, and Payne's gray. We'll just do gray because... Um, I, I like lots of grays, okay? So I'll do gray here. I will make it better. There we go. Nice. I love it. I love the scratchy letters. It's, it's just really fun. Kind of playful. Okay, I'm going to work over in this corner now and make it look like I did it on purpose. <laughs> okay, what's my last color? Um, I forgot. Again. Oh, purple. Yeah, purple. Silly. Can't forget purple. All right, and I'm just kind of scratching it on there. I think that looks fun. I'm not uh, great with the letters. It's one of the things I, I would like to work on, actually, um, being better with lettering. But 
this is fun. I like it. I think it looks good. Oh, I need my title, right? Um, um, fave colors. How about... So that's not my best lettering, but that's okay. I had technical difficulties. And I think since I started this mess, I'm just going to do some doodles. so it doesn't look like it was a messy accident. <laughs> okay. And then I'll probably do some other stuff around those doodles later on, but I do really need to let this page dry fully now. Okay, so there we go. You get the, you get the idea at least. Here's my page. So I pick colors. Whoops. Here we go. I picked colors. Here are my five favorite colors, my great, my favorite color combination. And I've used a bunch of different supplies here. We've got the paint pens <clears throat> and the art marker and the gelato. We used the shimmer spray from the other kit and we used um, the Catherine Pooler ink with some stamps. And there we go. So I cannot wait to see what your five faves are and your page with them. Have a great day. Bye-bye.